Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Grinded my way up to level 7 between videos. We're gonna head up north here. Now, here we have um, a battlefield. It's a basic way to gain XP and some special items. Some key items, such as weapons, armor, and spells, can be gotten through battlefields. Sometimes they're just sources of good XP. They're always 10 rounds. And we're going to leave it at that for now because I'm not going to take them on until I get my next partner. And they take quite a bit anyway. Now we're going to head to the Sand Temple and try to save Kaylee. But thankfully the elixir's right here in this chest. What the hell? Who are you? Actually, I'm looking for some elixir, but yeah. <laughs> Just, I, I just like how the main character's like, First of all, here's my name, noob. Alright, now shut up. 9,000 GP? Yeah, sure. My allowance is only 2 GP a month. I'm just gonna go to the bone dungeon to find treasure. You come with me and help. If I get the treasure, you get the elixir. There's a battlefield nearby. Why don't you whack a few monsters there and maybe win something, kid? The name's Shen. Da, da, da. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't remember if uh, these first two battlefields have anything special. To the sand, to the bone dungeon, yeah, blah. We can do bu stupid things later. Okay, this is our first dungeon already. Choices, choices, choices. Let's just get into a fight here. Show you what Tristam does. I do like Tristam. He's pretty beasty. Since I'm level 7, I, as you can see, I got, I'm got up to 9 white magic uses already. So, they go up pretty quick. You can change your weapons mid-combat using L and R. Some enemies are weak to certain weapon types. Generally, things that are overly snake-like tend to be weak against... Um, Axes, uh, Tristam's darts there, his, well, shurikens, have a poison attribute, so they attempt to poison, and the poison toad is weak to poison, or strong to poison, but not the physical damage that the stars deal, so he's fine, and dead. Okay, let's just go through here. Pretty much the, oop, critical hit. Pretty much the objective is to show off a few fights, show you what the enemies can do, and I'll, um, I might just fast forward fights, who knows. Either off screen them or fast forward them. Yeah, let's try fast forwarding. Yeah, that might be easier than, uh, just cutting out the fights entirely. Now, there is nothing special in here, but we can fight enemies for XP. And since the hero's level 7, oh, and those tree enemies are weak to axe attacks too. Uh, anything tree-like is weak to axes and fire. So you can see since the hero's level 7, these enemies aren't uh, really doing too much for me to worry about. Just throw, as you can see, you gain items very quickly in this game. Just leveling up to 7, that's what I got in the forest. Alrighty, let's continue. We'll hop across. These are rocks that look like turtle shells, so I don't know if they're turtle shells or just rocks. Alright, well... Hmm, that's weird. I can't go that way, apparently. Yeah, we don't have the right weapon to get up there yet. We will, but we don't. Is there anything down south? I don't think so. Nope. Always enjoy the ability to jump. Okay, well, well, what's that? Watch this. Boom! Ain't these something? I'll sell you some cheap. How about 50 for 30 GP? Yep. I'm gonna go back this way. Now, bombs are our sole ammunition weapon. Since you have 50 of them, just like Tristam has 84 shurikens. 
Now it seems like, oh man, I man should use those sparingly. Uh, you end up getting so many through pickups and stuff that it's really not something to worry about. And these first level bombs only plant right in front of you. I forgot about that. And we got a steel shield. I think it's automatically equipped. Yep, steel shield. Now these first items only... Oh, that's... Okay, there's Tristan stuff. I can see those icons down there. That shows what he has defense against. It's fire and... I cannot make out... Oh, instant death. Mine, sadly, I just get defensive power against physical attacks for now. But by the end of the game, we're going to be pretty ballin' with our resistances. Now we can head back and start continuing on the main path. Alright, new enemy type. Birdies! Well, now I can't show off the bombs properly, but... Now, birds are weak against shoot attacks, which are basically throwing weapons, or bows and arrows. Please be multiples. Although Tristan's going to kill one. There we go. Bombs are unique in that they attack everybody and divide their damage. So, if the bomb would do, you know, say 500 damage to one enemy, it should do half that uh, when it hits two enemies, and then divide that further, and etc. and so on. We're just gonna uh, hash probably not just fast forward when I have the bombs equipped. I'm gonna waste bombs. Do, 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 do. Mm. One thing I gotta say about this game good soundtrack. And later on in the games, is we upgrade each weapon, each weapon has multiple upgrades. We'll be able to throw the bombs further and further. And our final upgrade, the bombs, <laughs> they, they can fly like halfway across the screen. And let's just bust through a few of these fights. The fast forward button is awesome. Yeah, I think that's a lot more efficient than just cutting out the fights. A lot less work for me as well. That's the important thing. Now we have our first behemoth. I'm fighting him at a more appropriate level. What do you got for me? Explosives, huzzah! Yeah, I forgot to show off Tristram also has the life spell, but that's it. Usually your partners have a way to keep you alive. And level 8, awesome. Ah yes, gotta blow up its rib. Which blows up the whole bloody thing. Is there anything over here? I thought so. Like, I swear there's a secret in here. Is there anything I can do this way, though? Oh, herpity derpity. How about I jump on the stupid thing? Jeez. I guess bombs. Crap, ninja stars. Yeah, like I said, um, you're going to find enough of these ammunition weapons that you really don't need to worry about wasting them. Really? That's all that's here? Really? That's sad and disappointing. Okay, anything? Yeah, I guess I'll kill them to get down there. One interesting thing about this game is if... You know, you see I have 99 stars. If he had, like, 96 like he did, there'll only be three in the chest. It's interesting that the game keeps correct numbers like that. You just never... I mean, you still don't see stuff like that that much, really. Unusual detail. And he got confused. I didn't realize I was fighting a Minotaur. But, like in most games, a physical attack will knock him out of confusion. And as usual, confusion means he can hit the enemies, or himself, or me. It's usually a bad time. Heal seeds, or the heal spell will get rid of him. Oops, hitting fast forward too much. 
So let's see what's over here. And we'll launch one quick heal here. Generally, if something's sticking in your way and you can't get out through it, bomb it. See what happens. Now, these sands push us around. I don't remember. Do I go this way? Alright, it's just an extra room. Oh, finally, seeds. Yay. Seeds restore spell usage. So, huzzah. And sand, moving sand pushes us around. So we'll just blitz through these guys real quick. Yeah, way better than skipping them completely. Because then you can at least still see what's going on. Oh god! Oh god! This, ah, ah. All right. I wonder if the bomb will move. No. All right. Well, then I guess we'll go this way. <gasps> what is it? I don't remember. Ah, our first attack magic. Black magic. Excelente. Let's use that real quick. Of course, it can only hit enemies on the ground. Flying enemies are immune to quake. It's our first black magic spell. Targets everybody automatically. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh man, that minotaur got rocked. Skeleton is weak to earth attack. And we'll continue on with another bomb. Oh, is this the... Yep, yeah, this is the boss. Alright. Take advantage of your ability to save anywhere. And let's do it. Look at those chests. Girl, you'll never beat me. I have the power of the crystal of Earth. This is... <laughs> well... Flamerous Rex, although it should be Flamosaurus Rex, but I don't remember if he's weak to Quake, so let's do it. Well, he uses Quake, so that's a good sign. Yeah, Tristram Stars don't mess around. 250, what's the bomb attack do? Ow, that hurt. 192. As you can see, he lost a couple ribs there. We will launch a quick here. Ow! He's definitely gunning for uh, Shin there. Go ahead and just cure yourself. I have Tristam attack. Nice. Critical hit makes up for me not attacking. This should be over real quick. This first boss is not hard as long as you gained a couple levels before he came here. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know how exactly he's still attacking us at this point, but he's uh, on his last legs. Oops, no, this should be the last round. Oh, well, now it might not be. Thanks for missing, Tristam. There we go. Not too bad for a first boss. First introduction to enemy that uses, ah, uses magic. I forgot. The item that Tristam takes from us, the treasure he was looking for. But here we got the Earth Crystal. Already one of the four crystals restored. How about that? Only the second video in. Look, the crystal. Never mind that. Get a load of this stuff. Look at that. The thing is awesome. That's the Dragon Claw. And he doesn't even bother to use it. Well, we just blow it up. 
And we got the sand coin. What does that do? Well, remember they were talking about the focus tower earlier. The coins are used to unlock the way through the tower. Look, I gotta go. See you around, kid. I forgot Tristam takes off right away, so I'll be doing those two battlefields by myself. In fact, I kind of just might cut this back trip out. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to meet you back outside. I'm not going to make you watch the return trip. See you in a second. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, I'm going to go to these battlefields here because I don't remember if I get anything good out of them. You'll get your final reward after you finish off the last fight. So I'm just going to fast forward through these. Stop here. Just gonna use up a quick couple of turns here to heal up. Now cure potions are heal proportionate HP, so they'll uh, heal more the more HP you have, but they're never as strong as a cure spell. I'm going to use a heal potion to get rid of the poison. You son of a... Hey, stop that! Wow, are you kidding right now? The AI is just trolling me. There we go. Alrighty, fine. Now you do get to exit out to the menu between each one. Alrighty, one more to go. Don't know how a tree gets me into a full Nelson, but let's see what we get out of this one. 183 XP. Now, when it says clean them out, then it'll give you your bonus for the stage. And then it collapses the battlefield so we can't go there anymore. So what does that charm do? Well, that one just adds our defense power a little bit. But again, there will be uh, more items like that in the near future. So let's go to this first battlefield. It should be a much easier ride. Just need to stop to see which one I'm on. Clean them out! Alright, stopped at the right time. Now that one, I just got 54 bonus XP. Not horribly exciting. Alrighty, I guess that's going to do it for this time. We got the elixir to heal Kaylee, so in the next episode we are going to give her said elixir and make our uh, way toward the focus tower and put that sand coin into use and see what the rest of the world has in store for us. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in episode 3.